Okay, so again, this is where we were. Let's go back to the beginning of the next, the beginning of the page and start again. So example three, you're asked to find the equation of the right bisector of the line segment joining P to Q. All right, now, you want to find the equation of the right line of the right bisector. A right bisector means a perpendicular line going um, going through a midpoint. So it's a line segment here, and we want the midpoint between this P and Q. That's going to we need that information, and we also need the slope of this particular line segment because to make it a right bisector we take the perpendicular slope and use that slope. Alright, you may not remember this from grade 9 but we're going to go over this really slowly. Part 1 is to take the perpendicular slope of PQ. So we need the slope of PQ. We find the slope by finding, okay, by doing exactly how I did in the last example by taking the coordinates, negative 1, 4, writing them upwards, 7, negative 2, writing it upwards, and subtracting. Okay, that's way too fast for you. So let's go slowly here. Here we go. Once we do this, all right, we we're going to find the slope. So again, write the points going upwards, subtract each of the points so that now we have our rise and our run, and we find out that the slope is 6 over negative 8, and don't forget we need to reduce, and that is negative 3 over 4. All right, so this is the slope of PQ. We want the perpendicular slope. So the perpendicular slope is always, let's hope you remember, the negative reciprocal of the current slope. So negative reciprocal means if the current slope is negative, we make the new slope positive. And then reciprocal means we flip the 4 and the 3 to have 4 on top and the 3 on the bottom. So again, one more time, we need the perpendicular value, perpendicular slope, so it's opposite sign and flipped fraction. Next, we find the midpoint of PQ by doing the following. To find the midpoint of PQ, just like we did in this whole uh, lesson, is to add the x's, divide by 2, add the y's, divide by 2, and guess what, folks? We find out that our midpoint is 3, 1. What are we going to do now? Well, we have a slope, and we have our point, so let's find the equation. Find the equation of the right bisector by doing the following. Substitute the slope, so 4 over 3, which is what the slope that we need. Okay, maybe we should have um, circled what we needed. Here we go, circle 1, circle 2, and this is what we're going to do. Substitute the slope and that point for x, y in the equation, y equals mx plus b. And sure enough, folks, we end up with b is equal to negative 3. I'm assuming that you can do all of this. You don't need me to explain this step, okay? The assumption is by now you should be able to find the value that we're looking for. Therefore, the equation of the right bisector of pq is as follows. y equals m, which is 4 over 3, x plus negative 3, which turns out to be minus 3. So this is the equation of the right bisector. All right, folks, that's the end of working with medians, perpendicular bisectors, all stemming from the idea of a midpoint. We're going to expand on this information more in this unit, but again, what we're doing is working with lines, working with slope, looking, working with equations of lines, and what we're doing is uh, combining that with triangles and geometry. All right, folks, take care. Have a numerical day.